I realized that I can't do it on my own. That it's okay to admit that you can't do it on your own. That you need, first and foremost, God in your life to, to guide you. Knowing that God's forgiven me through Him sending His Son, Jesus, to pay the price for my sin, that's just been a big stepping stone, you know, for me to make this decision. I felt the Holy Spirit moving inside me and I was baptized, but then things in my life persuaded me to move off the track. I realized I've been prideful. And <clears throat> one of the things that, in being that, being prideful, has it, cost me, you know, jobs, it's cost me relationships, circumstances that, that have arose has caused me to really get back on that track and, and the, with the journey that, that I really want to have with Jesus in my life. I've lived my life so far away from God, whether it was, you know, through relationships, uh, who I hung around with, what I did with the people that I did hang, uh, hang around with. I knew that, you know, I felt that God, you know, brought me here and God has put my best friend uh, in my life now. I realize I can't do it without God and Jesus as, as basically the forefront of all my decisions and, and, and having that as a thread in all my relationships. Brad has, is my earthly friend and where Jesus is my heavenly friend, knowing having those both of those people in my life has helped our convictions toward you know becoming more like what Jesus has intended and the purpose that he has intentions for us. Well, I've been coming here for about a year and a half now, and it was, I still hadn't made that choice. And it was time, and you know, I had to make that choice, and, and the choice is now. All those years that living life the way I did, and, and just being broken, and saying, Jesus, here I am, take me. 